it is a beautiful phase of life and we all across from this age. But when we don't know that how to manage, because this is the stage where we are uh, suffer from a lots of physical changes and we got the lots of uh, hormonal changes in the body. So we should know that how we should move ahead and how we can make our, uh, this age a teenage smooth and fluent. So today's session is all about that how to improve focus because in teenage generally we are losing the focus, we got short temper. So today's sequence and series will help teens to get focused and it will help them to feel more happier and it will help them to take the proper decisions in life. So let's get started. So today we will do five asanas which will help teens to improve focus at same time. It will help them to boost the immunity and give the strengthening of the body as well. So let's start with the first asana. First asana is a dhanurasana and dhanurasana is a really very good asana to strengthen the body, boost the immunity. At the same time, it increases the blood circulation to the entire body, which helps team to balance the hormones. So simply lie down and come to the belly lying position. Let's talk about that how to do the dhanurasana, what is the right technique. Now, simply fold your legs from the back. Make a proper distance between your legs. Now, use your right hand to grab your right ankle. Grab your left hand to grab your left ankle. Now, you can tuck the feet inside if you're feeling or if you're losing your grab, grip. Then, our second variation, you can freely free your legs or feet. Now, inhale, lift your chin, chest and from the back, lift your thighs up in air as much as you can and try to balance your entire body weight on your belly. Inhale, go up. Exhale, slowly down. Let's do one more time. Inhale, go up. Exhale and slowly touch your chin down to the mat. Now straight your legs. Let's do the second asana. Simply come back lying position or smile lying position. This asana will really help teens to improve the focus. At same time, most of the teens feeling uh, they are getting short tempered. They are feeling too much angry. It's only due to the there are lots of physical and the hormonal changes comes in uh, teens body. So this uh, Sarvangasan will really help teens to get right from stress, lack of focus and anger issues. So go a little down. Let's do the Sarvangasan and how to do this Sarvangasan. Lift your left leg up and then your right leg. Use your both hands and support your back with your both hands. So try to lift your body up to the ceiling and swing your legs and come up. Make a stand with your elbows. Stay here and hold. Align your body. Stay here for 10 to 15 seconds. Now gently come back. First your hips down, then your legs down. This asana will help us to improve or send the good supply to the entire brain, which will help us to increase the focus. It helps in study as well. Most of the teens are feeling or they are losing their focus while they're studying or while they're taking any kind of decision in their life or they're feeling confused. So this asana will help them to get right from tension, lack of focus, and same time, anger issues. Okay, let's move ahead now. Let's do the three third asana. And this asana will help us or help teens to improve the blood circulation to the entire belly. So fix your hands by the side. It increases energy level in teens body, shoulder with uh, hip width gap between your both legs and fix your toes on the mat, open your fingers. Now, lift your center body maximum up as much as you can and do the proper chin lock. Try to touch your chin with your 
upper thoracic or upper chest. So inhale, lift your center body up and tighten your hips. Exhale and down. Let's do once more. Lift your center body up and feel the proper stretch into your belly and back. Inhale, go up. Exhale and slowly down. Let's move ahead to the fifth asana. Next, we are going to do the Chakrasana. Chakrasana is a very, very amazing asana and it increases the energy level, increases the focus and teens. So, how to do this? Open your fingers on the mat, just like that. And let me tell you the technique, always do with the right technique. And in a starting, if you're not feeling comfortable or if these asanas are getting hard for you, then you can do with the support as well. As well. But let me tell you one more thing. Do a little warm up before you're doing these five asanas. Open your fingers, fix your hands by the side of your shoulders. Hip with gap between your both legs and fix your toes on the mat. Lift your center body up and come to the Chakrasana. First touch your head, then your back, then your hips on the mat. Relax a while. If you're feeling any kind of unease to the back, then hug your legs to the counter pose just for the relaxation. Release your legs. Take left hand and sit. These five asanas are so powerful and so impactful to balance the teen's life. So all these asanas improve the focus or help the balance in the body. At the same time, improve the boost the immunity as well. So let's come to the mental health. Most of the teens are feeling stressed or tension. Maybe it's a tension of study or future or maybe other stuff. So next we are going to do the deep abdominal and then the chest breathing, which will help teens a lot to decrease the stress level and make them a clear vision, which gives the clear vision to the teens. So how to do this belly and chest breathing and how to increase the focus with these breathings. Touch your index finger and thumb with each other, just like that, fix your hands on your knees. Once you have to do the belly breathing, second you have to do the chest breathing. Once you have to do the belly breathing and then chest breathing. Let's do it 10 times. Inhale, belly out, exhale and release. Inhale, chest up, exhale and release. Let's do it. Gently open your eyes. On this note, my name is Boli Parihar and you are learning with Siddhi Yoga. Hope you like the video and don't forget to share your experience with us. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.